Hello everyone, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. Um, on a homestead a lot of times, when you're living off of the homestead like we do predominantly, there's not a lot of cash flow to, to just go out and buy new things. And what happened is we have several riding lawnmowers. That's what one that I use on the farm to ride around, pull trailers, uh, perhaps mow somewhere where we're at if we need to around the edge of a garden. Because we have so many garden plots on the place here. And what's happened is one of our lawnmowers, actually two of our lawnmowers, the rear end have tore up in them. And rather than just trash the lawnmower, we took the rear ends out from under them, took them apart, and come to find out they don't make the parts for the rear end anymore. So what we've had to do is to just be patient. It's been about six months now. We've been looking. And finally we found an old lawnmower from a guy for 25 bucks. It's got the same rear end under it, and we're going to be taking the rear end out from under it. Now, this is a lawnmower here. We're going to be able to get the rear end out from under it and put under the lawnmower that of ours that was a good lawnmower and get the lawnmower back up and running. That's what it's about on a homestead, is being able to rebuild your equipment without having to stop and go out and spend money on brand new equipment. Okay, what we have here is we, we took the battery box out of the lawnmower because it uh, there's a drain hole in the bottom of it. This thing was so full of trash and everything. And what had happened to the original pulley in the bottom of the lawnmower down there is that the old battery had leaked acid and because this hose was not on it, the acid dripped on top of that pulley and ate the pulley up on top of the transmission. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to reroute this hose and get it away from that pulley in the event that that happens again. Okay, we, we couldn't find our clamps to go on this, so when you can't find something that you need, you, you engineer it to the best way that you can, and on a, on a homestead like this out here, we took a piece of tie wire and we wrapped it around it and we twisted it to make a clamp like that. To make it a little bit safer, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off like that, and then we're going to just kind of kind of bend that over and that way we won't, won't be stuck our hand under there some way and get ripped open on that. And that was just simply some tie wire like you buy at your plain little hardware or automotive store. Well, we went to get our lawnmower going and we found out that we got a, we got a pulley system here underneath the deck. It's been setting up for a little while. This system right here is supposed to be rotating back and forth under here and it's not because it's all rusted up. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to try to get this bolt loose right here. Take all that off. Scrape it down, clean it up, re-oil it, and grease it, and put it all back together, and see if we can get it to where the we can engage and disengage the uh, the blades on this thing. Okay, we're gonna take our lawnmower blades out from under the lawnmower. It's been setting up about a year, and they're awful dull. So we're gonna while we got the deck off working on it, we're gonna go ahead and sharpen them. And what we do is we like to take a pair of vice grips and lock this blade down to the table. We're gonna take our hand grinder. And, and put our edge on these. You don't want too long of a slope on this because it'll just get dull too quick, but you don't want it to be too sharp down either. And um, hopefully when I get through with it, I'll be able to show you a little bit more about it.
Now that we've got some of our sharpening done on our blade here, it's a kind of an old blade, but rather than throw it away right now, we're going to try to get all the use we can out of it. We've sharpened it. Next thing you want to do is take and balance it. You want to take and make sure that there's no, no extra rust or dirt or anything on it. You want to come over and you want to drive your nail in a post. You want to be able to take this blade and put that nail right in the center of that blade and let go of it. And when you do, we're seeing that this side of the blade here is still heavier than the other side, which means if you put it under the lawnmower like that, it'll vibrate and it'll, break, it'll beat your bearings out under the lawnmower. So what we're going to do is go back and take the grinder and we're going to take a little bit more off of this side here. Okay, ready? Okay. We've got our grinding done. Let's put it on here. Get it right in the center. We've got it. That's perfectly balanced. That's what you want in a lawnmower blade when you're sharpening it. You want to have that thing sitting directly in the center of your blade. Have exactly the same amount of weight on each side of that blade so that it doesn't vibrate when you put it underneath the lawnmower and ruin your bearings in your uh, uh, pulley system. When you put this blade under a lawnmower, let me back up here. I want to show you something. This particular type of deck. There's a star-shaped piece on the bottom of the lawnmower here. What you want to make sure of is when you put that blade on that, you want to make sure that that blade goes up on that star really, really good. And you keep it there till that bolt is tightened down because if it gets off of that star the least little bit, it will actually ruin the bottom of that pulley. Now that there is, you don't want any bit to have any slack in it. Okay, when you put these blades on the bottom of a lawnmower, you, it's good to wear a pair of gloves just in case because you've just sharpened the edges on these. When you tighten this thing down, if you put a block of wood against the deck, it'll make it a whole lot easier to... To tighten that thing down, you can just kind of bump it. And that's all you need right there. That's, that's the easiest way to put the blade under now there. Now when you put these blades under there, there's a top and a bottom. You want to always make sure that you put the right side up. The wing part that turns up always goes to the top. That's what creates your vacuum and your suction underneath the deck to blow the leaves out from under there. And remember we want to make sure it fits on that star really, really good. To where it's good and snug where the blade makes sure it's on there good and we're just going to take this and just run it just a little bit we're going to put our wood right in here because right there is what i'm talking about that's that sharp edge you want to always be sure you got something on your hands because if this wrench was to slip that right there you'd be going to the doctor Get it down below it. Just tighten it down. There you got it. For the deck a while ago, all this was froze up, wouldn't move at all. So we've taken it apart. We've ground it down, all the rust off of it. We've re-greased it. And now this is the part that locks in and out and locks your blade in and out underneath the deck. That's what was froze up on it. So we've got all that working now. Now we got to put the deck back under the lawnmower, and it's really just as simple as just sliding it under sideways. It's kind of heavy, so you have to just kind of take your time. And 
when you get it under there, the first thing you want to do is make sure you hook this belt back up around the front of the motor there. Okay, underneath the lawnmower on this one here, there's going to be a couple of rods that's going to have to be hooked up. It's just going to, all it's going to be is a matter of moving the deck around, getting them in place, sliding the pins back in it. All right, and this one here picks up, slides on right there. Got a cotter key that. just snaps in there. We just got the same thing on this side. We just pick it up, work the deck around so it slides up over that rod right there. And you got a cotter key. Snaps right back in that one. And then we've got one more on the front right here. It snaps through. Should be a washer that goes over that. And we just bend the ears up on it. And out of the way. Huh? I don't even know if that was going. You don't know if it was going. I mean, I've been recording the whole time. And then we have a cotter key that goes back in this one. Okay. It's usually straight from the front to the back like that. Okay, I guess it went in there, didn't it? Yeah. Okay, we've got the spring hooked up on the pulley up there. And what you want to do is you want to slide this thing in this slot on this particular type mower. You want to push that in. It's a little plastic keeper. You want to push that up. And inside this thing, there's a hole for this cotter key to go in right there. I'm going to push that up right there and tighten that back up and you've got your belt and all hooked up. What we're going to do here before we crank this thing is we're going to take this air filter off of it and it's been sitting up for about a year. When one has been sitting up that long, what we like to do is just put just a touch. Now you don't even want a half a teaspoon. Because all the parts in the carburetor is going to be dry. You want just a little bit in there. What you don't ever want to try to crank it without the air filter on it. Because if it backfires, it could set it on fire. You want to put your air filters back on it. This mower ain't been fooled with in a year. We're just hoping that it'll at least try to start. Okay. Okay, we're gonna give it a test run here. Alright, Wanda's taking the lawnmower on its maiden voyage since we worked on it. Gonna take it up and just see if it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. See if the deck and the blades and all work. Looks like all's good. Looks like it's mowing good. On a homestead, you have to just keep things going and work on them yourself and do the best you can.